Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another gear review. I'm going to be showing you this PV Predator from the 80s or something like that. Now the purpose of this video is to show you that for very, very little money, if you shop about and look for something like this, you're going to get a really great instrument for very, very, very little money. This cost me £25. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do, like I did with the Harley Benton ST70 review, which I'll put up there, I think. I'm going to take this apart, show you what's under the hood, walk you through it, try and do some, get some background info on it and stuff like that, and do some sound tests down in the studio. So stick around for the sound tests, which will come at the end. This is a PV Predator Plus, so this is a more recent model. These were manufactured between 1999 and 2002. And the serial number starts with 0012, so I'm imagining that it's a 2001. That's what I'm, I don't know for sure, but it's going to be around about that. It's about 20 years old. Specs are very, very quickly, I'll put them up somewhere on the screen as well. You've got a solid wood body, which is made of popular, it's made in Korea. Um, it's got a maple neck, it's got a rosewood fretboard, it's got shallow locking tuners great bonus and it's got a power bend 3 trevelo bridge which is pretty cool it's got wide top pole pieces on the single coils which gives it you know more definition and stuff the focus uh, it's got a five-way selection switch with can uh, hum cancelling and it's coil tapped at position 2 or the humbucker volume tone it's black Black loss. And that's basically it. Perloid scratch plate too. Very nice perloid scratch plate. So, let's get this puppy apart. Now I have gigged this guitar and I'm very, very impressed with it to be fair. So, let's get it apart. Now, the locking tuners are a real nice touch on this guitar. It makes stringing and restringing very easy and adds to stability of tuning as well. So, there you go. So we've got this lovely maple neck. Fret ends are Really nice. The frets on this particular one are in really good condition, which even suggests to me that it hasn't been played all that much in the last 20 years, or that the fret material is good quality. Uh, nuts plastic, unfortunately, and it does bind on the G, but I'm going to fix that. Um, apart from that, yeah, let's get under here. Now, when I got this guitar, it was covered in stickers and scratches. Um, and I removed the stickers and I buffed the whole body up with a rubbing compound. Uh, I've got the video, I'll show you it now. If I don't, you just have to take my word for it. <laughs> um, and another nice thing about this guitar is it's got a, the spindle type truss rod at the heel, which, is, uh, which I prefer, to be fair. Nice perloid scratch plate. Three ply, two ply, two ply. Okay, so electronics. I haven't opened this before, and yeah, it's what you expect. It's got mini pops, circuit board mounted toggle, uh, and your humbucker there, and ceramic. Uh, the type of pickup that has big magnet on there so the pole pieces aren't magnetized but it's a big magnet on there and then the pole pieces pick up the magnetism from that the magnet there uh, which is absolutely fine some people prefer those I don't mind them these pickups actually sound really great which I'll show you in the sound test coming up um, but yeah it's got some paper in there for some reason the um, and you can see that the humbucker Wires, it's cool tapped. Yeah, let's get a closer look. So, closer look for you. That's what you're getting.
Not sure what's going on here. But that's been chiseled out for some reason. I can't see why. Um, that would be where the humbucker goes across. I'm not sure about that. Don't know why that's been done, but it's not affecting it in any way. Now we'll open up the back. And have a look in there. Now the I have one issue with this guitar, and that is that the uh, strings are binding. Now I thought that it was the nut, but I have addressed the nut, and it's all fine. It's lubricated and everything, but it's uh, a case of when you bend the G string, um, it doesn't return back to pitch. And if you push the trim down, it will put it return back. I'm wondering whether the uh, tremolo is binding or catching, which could be why that piece of wood was cut out underneath. Um, and we can see the spring, couldn't we? So first off, yeah, we look at the trim. The block is horrendous. Got to be said, that is a thin block. Um, but it's functional and it works, so that's the main thing. Um, now it is touching the body, but yeah, so you've got a pretty crappy block in there, three springs, usual stuff, but I mean that's quite easy to, easy to replace that if you wanted to put a bigger block in there. There's a big old cavity, plenty of room. So that would be something I would be tempted to do, but uh, having played this guitar, you know, it's fine, it really is. <laughs> So, the sound test. So, excuse me, um, running through a 5 watt hand built uh, single ended valve amp into Harley Benton G112 with a Celestian Vintage 30 speaker, going through my pedal board, uh, which has nothing on it at the moment. Um, it's just, just the guitar at the moment going in and going through the focus right. Uh, interface into Adobe Audition CS6. So this is. Let me just move that down so you can see the YouTube. Yeah. So this is clean. You don't get it any cleaner. The old uh, neck pickup. Yeah, those pole pieces, those big pole pieces in the pickups really do make a difference. It's big and fat. Alright, so position four. All that stuff, it is very stratty. Middle. Really jangly. Now, position two, uh, Cole splits the humbucker and uh, and has the middle going. Um, I wasn't aware of this until I read up on it. But yeah, so you got the got the middle front part of the uh, humbucker, and the back is split. So you get the traditional Strat sound. And then the humbucker. Going back. Middle. Cool. 
position four. And back to the neck. Yeah, now this guitar sounds just as good as any of my other guitars. I actually think it sounds better than a lot of my guitars. So I'm going to put a backing track on and uh, hit up some gates. So we're going to start off with the neck. Position two. Little pick up. Position uh, two. Oh Hopefully you've enjoyed this review of the PB Predator Plus. This guitar is probably about 19, 18, 19 years old, something like that, maybe 20 years old. And it's just as good as any modern guitar that I've played, if not better than some. Um, so for 25 quid, it's worth it's worth shopping around. Um, I've picked up a few like this over the years, and I've paid even less than this. And this is definitely a gigging instrument. It's definitely something that I can use on tour. Uh, definitely I can use recording. And if at the very least it's not very good, or there's something wrong with it, you've got some good parts. Locking tuners, some nice pickups, good trem system, a nice solid body, you know, it's, it's, it's worth, worth £25. So, bargain hunters, get yourself out there and see what you can find. Till next time, peace. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. <laughs> Peace. Till next time.